Hi, I'm Cheyenne. I'm a freshman from Lincoln Southwest. Stop! Now slam! And this is a poem titled, The Death of a Mother. A simple story, a box of matches, a bench, and the words that were never said. I love you. There was a box of matches tucked away into the back pocket of the jeans with the sequins you used to wear. We were all aware that they were there, but it was a choice that did not belong to us. I wasn't oblivious to them, but I pushed on for you, for your embrace, for your kiss on my cheek, and for our mother's love. You're my little girl. Those were the words that encompassed me in your embrace, but the warmth of your words are gone, and all I have left is a cool touch of marble under my desperate fingertips. I'm searching, begging for your arms. A bench is cold and hard in contrast to a mother's warmth and softness. A bench is a beautiful gesture, but not enough to soothe my aching heart. A bench is a kind way to honor you. A woman with so much to say, but just not enough time to say it. You're going up so fast. I'm so proud of you. How are you feeling? How is your day? These are the words that at no point in the future are ever going to be said by you. You can still talk to her, they say. But what's the point of talking when all that echoes back is silence, and silence hurts, and this voice, and your voice soothes? This hole in my heart cannot be mended together when you held possession of that peace. You made me smile, a grin that lifted my whole face. My smile is now altered. I lost words. How can someone lose something they can create? How can you leave something you created? I'm not angry, it's called pain, and it bubbles up inside me. Try to remember the good memories, they say. She's always with you, they say. It's too much of them and not enough of her. I want her words in my ears, I want her in my life, and I want her here. There's no way to get used to an absence of words, no ways to get used to the death of a mother. Memories are like movies. They are good the first few times, but then you start to want new ones. I get a glimpse of the good ones, but those have pain written all over them to the point where I can't even see you anymore. Because whenever I think of you, I think of how I lost you.